wasn't a good idea. Do we have a ghost in the studio? <laughs> but it's market day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Our best event yet. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and in today's video I'm going to be prepping for my second market of the year. It's currently Thursday the 8th of Feb and on Sunday I'm going to be heading to Lincoln for my first Lincoln Craft and Flea Fair. I've done one of their events before in Nottingham but they're quite hard events to get into so I'm always applying and I've managed to be successful for the Lincoln event and their Nottingham event in March, I believe. I am really excited to give that one a go and I got the floor plan through this morning and I'm next to one of my small business friends which I'm really excited about and there's quite a few people going there who I know which I'm really excited to see again but we're going to kick off this video by parceling up some orders. So we got an order from the lovely Nikki so Nikki thank you so so much they've gone with the Audrey Mini which is one of our little satins I love this colour so much as well as a mystery scrunchie so I'm really excited to send this I really hope you like your mystery scrunchie and then I've also had a giveaway running on my Instagram so if if you want to enter any giveaways that I do, I post them all on my Instagram, so it's just at Fauna Rose Co. If you want to head on over there and keep an eye out for all of the giveaways. But the giveaway was to win one of my XL scrunchies and one of my mini scrunchies in any of the satin range, and they didn't have to be the same. The giveaway winner was Hetty, so I messaged her this morning just saying, like, congratulations, what would you like? And she's very, very kindly gifting them to her sister because apparently her sister has been a really big help to her, so she wanted to thank her by giving them to her sister, which I think is the sweetest thing ever. So a huge thank you to Hetty and her sister for your support and she's gone with the olive xl which again one of my faves i love this one so so much as well as one of the aqua minis which is so sweet so i'm gonna get those parceled up and sent over to her sister so becky i really hope you like them and then we best get on with some market prep So those orders are all packaged up and ready to go. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. I've just started doing a bit of tidying and organizing around my office because it's just absolute chaos again. It never lasts, it's always a mess. And then I get annoyed, I trip over things, I lose things, things get ruined. So because I've been doing a lot of vinyl cutting with my new vinyl cutter, it's really, really cool. Oh, actually I need to talk about that. I mentioned in the silhouette unboxing and review video, I was having a lot of issues with the screen not fitting and it was really bothering me. I thought it was gonna be okay. And I mentioned in that video, it was fine. I could still use it. Turns out I couldn't use the software. So when I opened up, a new page and I attempted to create a new design and move the design around the cursor was nowhere near where it's supposed to be so it was like it wasn't calibrated and the software wasn't fit into my screen well at all tried and tried and tried for hours and hours and hours to fix that issues and I couldn't find any information on it anywhere I couldn't find anyone with the same problem nothing so unfortunately what I had to do was go onto the silhouette website and you could download older versions I basically had to go through download and test out every single software update and every single version, which was interesting, till I found one that worked. I think it's 4.4 that I'm using instead of the newest one. It's one of the 4.4 versions. It does crash and it's a little bit slow sometimes, but nowhere near as much as my old software used to crash and stuff. So for now, I'm gonna be using that. It is working. So I sat and I cut out so much 
vinyl and I've started doing cups ready for this weekend and I made a lot of key rings over the last few days. I would have filmed some of it but Alex has been off work poorly and I just needed to crack on without making loads and loads of noise and stuff so I'll quickly show you those designs. Some of them are new, some of them are old and then I'm going to tackle the mess that is this office because it's ridiculous. So I had vinyl out on the floor and because I'm wheeling my chair around, I ended up crushing a bunch of it under the wheels of the chair, which was very infuriating. This one I'm a little bit gutted about because I thought the white was gonna be a good idea. Wasn't a good idea because you can't really see it, but on the lovely yellow one, it says buckle up buttercup. There we go, so that's what that one says. And obviously it's double-sided, but the white is quite hard to see so probably should have done that in a different colour. So this one says might need a car crying sesh <laughs> which is really really funny so there's that one. This is kind of like a tealy bluey colour. I'm not taking macrame or macrame depending on how you pronounce it to the event this weekend because event organisers have a right to ask you not to bring certain things so they've got a macrame artist there already so they asked if I could leave that stuff behind which I'm completely okay with so I've been making loads of items to fill my table that aren't related to macrame me i'm rambling this is the next one i love it it's a white one that says fueled by iced coffee and anxiety aren't we all it's this really nice neutrally light brown color i love this and then i had a bunch of the black left over from halloween and i wanted to do another celestial snaky design so this one kind of matches the cup so it's just a simple snake design and it's like a bronze goldy metallic color which i love i think they're all the new ones and then i made a bunch of my designs that i already had so this took me a couple of days to do weeding out all the vinyl applying all the designs it was a long process but i'm very glad i've done them because i absolutely adore these keychains. Unfortunately, this one is a little bit wonky. I don't know what I was thinking. I think this was the last one I did. And after putting vinyl and transferring the designs over and weeding the vinyl out for so many hours, I think I went a bit stir crazy. So sadly, this one is a little bit wonky. See how it's not quite centered. It says, sorry, I'm late. I didn't want to come. This is one of my most popular designs in a lovely lilac. Cleo has just joined us. Next, we have the coffee, coffee, coffee design, which sold out pretty quickly when I brought these out and I haven't released them again so I'm really excited to have these back in store and then the final two designs this one was really popular as well it's hot girls hit curbs and then the final one is the sage green one and I love this one but this took a while to sell so I was a bit apprehensive about bringing it back but I really like it it's the Shania Twain inspired let's go girls one so again all double-sided so hopefully I will be able to shift some of these at the weekend so they go on this beautiful cup holder that I found in a charity shop or thrift shop depending on where you are this just holds them perfectly they fit perfectly on that what I'm going to do is I'm I'm gonna carry on tight. How long has that been out of focus for? Apparently there's a face here. Why is it picking that up as a face? That's creepy. Do we have a ghost in the studio? <laughs> I'm just gonna carry on tidying and organizing. I'm not gonna pack my stuff ready for Sunday just yet, but I am gonna start taking out stuff that I don't need. So I'm gonna put all my macrame, macrame stuff away and just try and get on top of things because we're very messy and I don't like it. So there we are. You may have noticed I'm out of stock of the black ones. I sold my last one the other day. I could really do with making some more black. And then we've got olive, sage, neutral, grayish, latte, caramel, salmon, and paprika. So pretending the black one's there, here it is in wristlet form. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which colour is your favourite. So one more time, black, olive, sage, neutral, grayish, latte, caramel, salmon, paprika, because I'm interested to know. I need to put the wristlets away. They're all here. Obviously there's loads of stuff in the way. Get on the floor like the rest of the rubbish in this office. That'll do for now. Again, out of curiosity, leave me a comment down below and let me know which colour is your favourite. So we got pink, lilac, navy blue, sky blue, teal, juniper, olive, sage, yellow, daffodil, pumpkin, red, paprika, 
salmon caramel latte grayish neutral dark gray or black so i've popped some of them up there and i seem to be missing quite a lot so i'm out of stock of my nova i've only got one of the stevie left i'm out of stock of my alicia i think that's all we currently have we're looking a little bit empty up here there's still a good amount of designs there though so i'm not going to rush to get a bunch more of those made because again they're not one of my best sellers <laughs> My battery died as I was filming that time lapse, but I desperately need some new transfer tape because the two I have aren't really suitable. So the first one I bought, I accidentally bought like a high tack one, not realizing just how sticky it was and how strong and intense it was. And it ruined so much vinyl. I got it stuck on a cup and I couldn't get it off the cup. It was really bad. And then the one that you've just seen me using, it's just not tacky enough. I don't know if you would have seen how much I struggle to get it to actually lift the vinyl. It's really bad. It's not good at all. So I need like an in-between one. But I did find a spare glass can cup while I was tidying up and organising. So I have just popped one of the gold designs that I caught the other day. It's probably not going to show up but it's just my celestial design but in gold.
Hey guys, sorry, I've not really spoken to you over the last couple of days. It's now Saturday and I've just been cracking on with sewing up some of the new patterns. I thought I might as well just get them done because they're taking up room, just having the fabric sat there. And I had no exact plans on when I was going to release them, so I thought I might as well get them done. So we've got a bunch of the new Alex ones, which are a grey and black satin checkerboard. Then we've got this really, really pretty one. It's like a white, green, pink and red floral. I really like this one. If I would have done a Valentine's collection, this would have been perfect to be fair, but oh well. <laughs> then we've got these ones, which is like this really cute boho sun one. I've only done these in a mini because these are 100% cotton, so the fabric's quite expensive. And then we've got this lovely like marbly snake print one which is neutral colors which is really cool so i've just done a few of each one and i need to cut the threads off these and then i'm going to start packing my stock i've got a lot more satins that i need to make but we're running out of time and as much as i could stress make some it's probably not worth it because we do actually have plans today we are going out this afternoon and this evening so no more making can get done this afternoon or this evening and i need to pack everything before we go so got a lot to do so if i do have time after i've packed the stock and i desperately realize i need some satins then i will make some up being professional as always and I'm going to start going through my stock list counting some stock and starting to pack it I grabbed a bunch of the mystery packs here and I grabbed quite a few different numbers so I'm going to count how many I've grabbed that's everything it doesn't feel like it's everything i also really need to hoover and tidy up this office again hello guys so we've just got back it's 20 to 11 we've got a lot to do got a lot to pack in the car and it's absolutely peeing it down which is amazing but i just want to quickly say i did get kenzie's order packaged up earlier so kenzie thank you so so much i have received another order from the lovely lauren so lauren has gone for the lauren mini the juniper mini and a no waste mystery scrunchie and i'll get them packaged up and sent out on monday but thank you so much lauren so i will have to catch you guys in the morning fingers crossed that we have a really good event we're probably going to be very 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 sleepy but all we're going to do is pack the car get ready for bed make sure we've got food ready for tomorrow put all our devices on charge like our backup battery the card reader and things like that so apart from that i'll see you guys in the morning good morning i'm tired 
tired, I'm half asleep, I've still got foundation on my lips. But it's market day and I'm wearing a very comfy outfit today. I wanted to dress like I was in my pyjamas. But we're going to be setting off in about 15 minutes or so. Just been getting ready and I've been watching Moonchild Pet Supplies vlog. I'm just about halfway through, I'm going to have to watch the other half late. Speaker. I'm gonna have to watch the other half later but if you guys are after a new studio vlog or a new channel to watch I would definitely recommend watching Maddie and Elise's video because they're so lovely they're really nice they make amazing pet accessories so they do harnesses collars beds loads of different things so definitely go and check them out they are the sweetest people ever and they've just been so kind to mention us in their recent vlog because we met them at their first event and their second event I believe they're gonna be at the same event as us really looking forward to seeing them again I think there's quite a few people going today who we know no, so I am really looking forward to it. I'm already really ready for my bed but we've not done an event in Lincoln yet so I'm really excited because we've got stock in Lincoln in Prickly Pear. It's a craft and flea event which we really like. Sorry Bobo's is like screaming his head off this morning. So Popo, Popo's, it's like half seven. Shh, we have neighbours mate. So I'll try my best to get some clips but yeah, fingers crossed it's a good day. Day 763, <laughs> I'm still trapped. <laughs>
guys, so it's quite a lot later now. We've come home, I then tallied up everything that I made, I've then gone and smashed out all the stock count on the website and that's all good and live again. So we're just chilling now, so I thought I would quickly end this vlog before I chill too hard because I've got myself a cup of tea, we're all curled up on the couch. Yeah, wow, <laughs> what a day. That was incredible. It actually turned out to be our best event yet. So throughout the day, I can obviously see on my phone what sales we've taken on card. So that gives you like a rough idea of how you're doing. From just the card payments alone, we saw that it was our best day yet. So then when I got home, I had the cash payments to add up on top of that. So we had a very, very good day, which is a huge relief. However, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous now because I now have no stock. It's not a bad problem to have at all, but I've got a lot of stuff to remake. Bearing in mind we didn't take any macrame or macrame however you want to say it because there was another macrame artist there. So we still did really well. Anyone who came over, took a business card, chatted to us, supported us, then bought something from us. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, there are no words to describe it. There was a moment where a lady came over and she had a quick look at the table. She picked up one of the glasses and was like, do you have another one? I was like, yeah, I've got another one. She's like, yeah, perfect, I'll take both. And because they're one of my high priced items, I was a bit taken aback. I was like, are you sure? I was like, wow, thank you so much. Things like that just baffles me. Everyone was so lovely. The feedback was insane. I got to tell people about my cats over and over again. <laughs> it was really good vibes. The venue was great. I had Elizabeth next to me all day, which was amazing. Alex picked up one of the catnip toys from Moonchild Pet Supplies, who I've mentioned a couple of times now. For the last few hours, the cats have been going absolutely ape over this toy. They are obsessed with it. It's so cute. So speaking of Moonchild Pet Supplies, I'm so sorry if you can hear that. That's my laptop. It sounds like it's about to take off and go into space. Wow, okay. Maddie is an incredible artist and hopefully one day she will sell some of her artwork as well as doing Moonchild Pet Supplies. And she was so kind to give me some of these stickers, which she shouldn't have. Maddie, thank you so much. I just wanted to show you guys because she's very, very, very talented. This is the first one. It says thinking about coffee, which is so cool. And then we have this one. I think this one's my favorite. And it says girls just want to have fun. <laughs> I think this one's incredible. I love the like demon fairy. I think this is amazing. And then the final one is this relatable queen <laughs> that says easily overwhelmed. I think it's absolutely amazing. So thank you so much, lovely. You did not have to do that. That, but I cannot wait to find a home for these. So Elise and Maddie as always, it was fabulous to see you guys. I will leave their information down below because they're on YouTube. You should definitely go and check them out. I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I'm gonna go chill on the couch, but what an incredible weekend. I've got a very long week ahead of me because we've got another event next weekend. It's our local Bowen Farmers Market, which I can't wait to go back to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could give it a massive thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't. All the social media, including the website for Fauna Rose is linked down below. So if you wanna go over there and check it out and treat yourself and all that jazz check out the description box but apart from that i will catch you guys in the next one bye